Hi, uh, I'm just going to quickly go through this. Uh, it's been a week, is it about a week? Maybe about a week or five days of using this, the Nokia Temporal Thermometer. So I'm just going to give a very, very quick five days. It's very, very useful um, to do a, a, a really quick scan and store into your app. So now the app uses, of course, to sign in email uh, one email account. So, so of course, you know, both the dad and the mom would like to have the same readings, right? So, so you would have to share the account with your, with your wife la, or anybody else that's part of the family. Uh, so now leasing, so if I, if I use this, it will be updated on my app as well as leasing that. Very easy. Very, very easy. So the app is actually very, very good. So, uh, and, uh, wait, let me just show you how to use this first. So basically, you just need to press this. Quick vibrate vibration and then from here center to the side vibrates again and then choose temperature so here i can scroll okay i can find my name and then it's stored so easy and then it's updated onto your app so one good thing about uh the app as well uh i think it it also like you can store in things like food that you ate a uh, medicine that you ate uh uh, conditions or feeling or some notes that you can just keep updating if you're sick so even right now I have a notification just pop on my phone it's a new reading for Michael 37.3 degrees at 8 40 p.m. so it's really really good one concern there's only one concern with this it might be just my model or it could be a general one uh, so 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 if you've seen if you've seen the video previously maybe earlier or a separate video I have problem trying to uh, find out how to replace the battery. Now, it's supposed to be magnetic. Even the instruction was like saying, oh, it looks like lift up or what. I can't, I can't understand. I do not understand how you replace the battery. It's not clear. So it's actually here. So there's, you see this little uh, hole? So you can use your fingernail to go to push in and then lift up. Now, there is a problem with the model. Uh, with this model or maybe all models. This hole is not big enough it's not d deep enough uh, so I have problem prying it open so I had to use something really really, really fine and thin I used a pen knife I used the tip of a pen knife to push it in and lift up okay so now I actually put a small piece of paper <laughs> so I put a small piece of paper on top of the magnet Okay, I'm not going to demonstrate without a piece of paper. I don't want to do it all over again. So, all I have is a piece of paper. So, mix it a little bit, you know, forward. Comes up a bit. Okay, then I can very easily lift up. So, this is the only cons. Only con. Uh, other than that, I don't have any other things I don't like about this. Mm, maybe the price, but I think for the price, it's I think it's almost equivalent to the brown uh, monitor. But if I were to compare, because um, we actually have one, they will have to you have to keep buying the caps to replace, you know, the, the caps, the disposable caps to replace it. And uh, you really have to always put it in, in your ear. And I don't think my, my wife don't really like it, you know, if I want to do it for her, then I'll push into her ear, she's like, hee hee hee, red ticklish. And, it's, and if it's on a kid, it's going to be suddenly like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> if suddenly something goes into a ear, it's gonna be you know shocked. But this is contactless, so you supposedly you can be really a distance away. Actually, if you want, you can put it on top. You know, you can put it. You can just rub against your forehead. But you can do it at like uh, this. I think it's half an inch away. Is it half an inch? Is it about half an inch away? Mm. Something like that. So the good thing is also that if your you know, if your children is sleeping, you don't have you're not touching her, right? You don't have to touch her. You don't put anything in the mouth. You don't put anything in the ear. You can scan this. And this seems to... Haven't done the research, but I think this might be more... Accurate than the one that's in the market. I'm not sure, but it might be using a totally different technology. I think. I think. Please check it out, okay? Awesome. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. This is really awesome. Bye.